this latest video. Um, I know that uh, when you and I had last spoken, you said that it was going to get progressively worse. This is horrific. I mean, we're talking about this is murder. At, uh, this is not an abortion. It, under the most generous of definitions, this cannot be any longer classified as simply an abortion. Yeah, that's that's correct. And, and thanks for having me on, Dana. Um, it's absolutely horrific and heartrending. Um, and yeah, we're we're now out of we're we're now firmly out of the realm of abortion, and we're talking about infanticide and homicide. This is Kermit Gosnell-like activity happening at the highest levels of Planned Parenthood. And and, and numerous clinics with the sanction of I mean, the, the, and they're making money off of it, which is at the, at the yeah. biggest Planned Parenthood clinics. Yeah, at the biggest and most well-established Planned Parenthood clinics. The, um, the clinic that my friend Holly O'Donnell tells the story about in the video today, the story about harvesting um, harvesting a, an intact fetal brain from a late-term baby that, that whose heart was still beating after it had been aborted, that, that incident took place at the Alameda Mega Clinic in San Jose, California of Planned Parenthood Marmonti. Planned Parenthood Marmonti is the single biggest Planned Parenthood affiliate in the entire country. They have an annual budget of about $100 million, so they're basically 10% of the national organization. Um, and that's one of the, that was one of the really interesting themes that ran through this entire project, is that it is the biggest and wealthiest and most well-established, comfortable Planned Parenthood affiliates that get into the most horrific and disgusting offenses against human decency. One of the things that we hear over and over again from from supporters of Planned Parenthood is that, oh, well, we're just talking about a clump of cells. This isn't a life. But in doing this investigative series, David, I mean, how many, I mean, we're, you have, in, the, in this video, there are, um, you, you clearly see whole living infants. Um, those aren't, I mean, I, I look at them, we can say fetus, I see baby whole living babies that are moving of their own will. How many of these in this series did you come across? Yeah. Um, you know, our investigators never, you know, n never encountered, you know, face to face a, you know, a born alive infant. The, the video that's shown in this video is actually from, um, from the Grantham Collection in the Center for Bioethical Reform. Um, and, but that was really just, a, it's, it's not uncommon in the practice of second trimester abortions to have precipitous deliveries or to have fully intact living born alive infants um, because different patients respond to the abortion um, pre-operation in different ways. People have different anatomies. Um, and so it's not uncommon, and many, many Planned Parenthood abortion doctors confirmed this to us or made reference to right. it. Right. Uh, they in these videos that you've done. It's not uncommon for them to have fully born alive infants. Yeah, and, and they've commented in the previous videos where you can tell um, that this was coming, that this was going to be the natural progression of this, that at some point we're going to be dealing with actual live, intact, you know, fetuses um, that, are, that, are, that are born alive. And when they say, well, we induce fetal demise or we have to change the techniques and sometimes, you know, the heart is still beating. I mean, my gosh, that's not, that is, that's infanticide, as you were saying. Um, let me ask you, because I know that you have been pummeled with lawsuits, and I know that you have a lot of footage that you have yet to release. Did any of these lawsuits, are they impacting, or if they are, how are they impacting your further release of this footage? This, I mean, call it what it is, it's a, fasci a fascistic, uh, a fascistic uh, suppression of your free press. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, so obviously the Center for Medical Progress is, you know, is, you know, we, we are contesting, you know, any and all attempts to suppress our freedom of speech or the freedom of the citizen press under the First Amendment. Um, so far, I think we've been, we've been pretty fortunate that, you know, that, that the, um, the, uh, the, the two different lawsuits that are, that are ongoing right now haven't really affected the timing or the ordering of the um of the of the video releases so far we have a lot of really high quality very shocking um undercover footage and other types of evidence um and so far we've been able to keep on track with the with the pacing and with the order that we wanted so right so i think that's good uh, are you hearing from anyone in washington dc about the upcoming efforts uh, congressionally when when congress reconvenes this september uh to to really actively go after planned parenthood hopefully to see a defunding um, there's there's the there's the several defunding efforts and there's also now four different congressional committees that have opened up um, very serious investigations into Planned Parenthood's criminal sale of aborted baby parts, use of partial birth abortions, 
um, uh, modification of abortion procedures in order to get higher quality body parts for resale. Um, mm-hmm. There's no, there was just a fourth congressional committee that, that announced this right. week that they were opening up their own, their own investigation. 